Hey guys, I'm just here to show you a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be letting go of in my collection. We're trying to eliminate some stuff and narrow it down to like three lines. Wide body LBWK Pandem items and square bodies from M2 and Outer World and then some drag racing stuff from Hot Wheels. And I'm even like 50-50 on the drag racing stuff. So some more drag racing stuff may come up for sale in the future. Um, but anyways, what you see in front of you is a lot of stuff I have for sale. Um, going over it, like from over here, we have the rare 143rd Breaking Bad cars from Green Light. The rare Green Light 143rd Pussy Wagon from Kill Bill with the words printed on the box. One of 80 Green Machine Daytona. And as you guys know, I open everything. So these blister packs are open on all of these vehicles. Just so you know, that way there's no shock or anything in case you don't ask. And I don't just disclose the information. Everything is and was opened at one time. Um, anyways, but I do reseal some of it. Like this guy here, I did re-glue the blister. As you can see, it looks pretty darn good. Um... There may be like a couple little paper tears in there, as you can see there, but use clear Elmer's glue and it glues it back very nicely. This is the rare five spoke 190E team transport that was only released in Australia and Southeast Asia. So pretty hard to find here in the States. Um, then we have RLC Mongoose set, which is pretty hard to find nowadays. That's numbered at less than a thousand of 5,000 made. Don't remember the exact number. We have the Team Transport Snake and Mongoose sets here, open, mint, loose. Everything I have is mint. Uh, then... Over here, some melon cars from the past couple of years. A gasser from M2. Johnny Lightning, Christine. White Lightning, Chrome Super Chases. Green Light, Breaking Bad Cars, Eno 64, Resin, ER34, the Rare Hot Wheels, J-Case Power Wagon, and then also the Rare uh, Walmart only uh, Power Wagon that came in the box set. Then we have some super rare vintage racing stuff, and I do have all of the hard to find ones for sale except for the Datsun 510. Um... They are not cheap, but my prices are better than what you can get them for on eBay, put it that way. So, if you guys think I'm going to be giving this stuff away, you're wrong. But if you want a good deal better than eBay, I can do that for you. Like, for example, the three number 43 cars. I will do all three shipped anywhere in the U.S. for 325 bucks. So, it's expensive, but it's cheap for those three pieces. AJ Foyt, I will do 100 shipped anywhere in the state. So that just gives, gives you an idea. My Ultra Red Dirty Christine right there, I'll do 110 shipped anywhere in the States. The Mongoose RLC set, 150 shipped anywhere in the States. I will do international shipping, but it is going to cost you a premium because it's not cheap. I will be using the USPS and I will be using... They're quoted rates, so I'm not making nothing on the shipping unless I got to use, like, my own box if I had to buy it. And bubble wrap, I may add, like, 25 cents or 50 cents, something like that. The other thing I ask for people to do is pay via PayPal, friends and family. If you do not like that idea and you want to use goods and services, that's fine by me. But just be prepared to add a couple dollars to the purchase price to cover the fees because I sure am not doing it. Um, so, we have a lot of rare mini GT stuff for sale. Ah, uh, you have all the Kato House, Kaido House 510s that have been released so far. The very rare 1 of 999 Mini GT Give R32. The Pop Race China Exclusive Bentley, the chrome one, which is a sweet looking car. The Shimi McLaren. Ah, uh, then you have a bunch of Ultra Red stuff, Green Machines and such things like that. I do have Green Machines as cheap as like 10 bucks each, some at 15 bucks each, some Ultra Reds at 15 bucks each. Predominantly, the Ultra Reds are like 20 bucks each, like these guys here. The Galaxy, the Miho Jeep, Christine, oh, that ain't Christine, but that's one of the 58s. Christine is back here. Those are all 20 bucks each. Same thing with the Wagon, Country Squire. 20 bucks plus shipping. So the cheaper stuff is not 
with shipping. The more expensive stuff, I can throw into shipping. But that's only for like one car or like I said, the group of three. Okay. But once we start getting to be more than that, then you guys are going to have to throw in on the shipping too. JK's Bronco, or not Bronco, but Power Wagon. Sorry, guys. I will do both of them. The Walmart and the JK's one for 120 bucks ship. That's a deal and a half for both of those. The JK usually sells upwards of 150 to 180 carded on its own. So 120 for both of those loose mint is a pretty good price. The rare Aussie Southeast Asian um, will variants. Those I will do for 65 bucks each shipped. And then we have a ton of mini GT stuff for sale. These are like regular releases. Most of them are like 10 bucks each. Some go upwards of 15 bucks each. And then box full of Hot Wheels premiums, green machines, melons, some G bodies left. Then you have some other premium brand stuff here like Kyosho, BM Creation, John Lee. And then as you can see, there are more of the vintage racing cars in here. And some other rare Hot Wheels stuff and Johnny Lightning stuff and so forth. So we have quite a bit of stuff. There's even the green light Ricky Bobby Chevelle with Karen. Uh, that one, I haven't even figured out what I want for that one yet. I just kind of threw that in the box. So we have a lot of stuff to get rid of. Um, then as I said in the future, there may even be more drag racing stuff coming up and i have another box full of premium stuff i haven't even went through yet that's just your mediocre stuff like five dollar car six dollar car stuff like that uh so nothing extravagant this is the more extravagant stuff that we're selling as right here so if you are interested please send me a dm on instagram i left a link for my instagram account in the profile or in the description of this video sorry uh then also if you're on fb i use the name ron hot rod ward uh that is my username on facebook so you can add me there and pm me there and such or you can comment here but i'm not going to negotiate prices i'm not going to quote prices or anything like that in the comments and maybe quote prices but i'm not going to negotiate prices or do any shipping quotes or anything like that it's just a pain in the ass so if you want that kind of information please add me on instagram or facebook and i will talk to you there so, um, the more you buy, I can give a little discount, but as you guys can tell, my prices are already more than fair, as I just quoted. Like the three vintage racing petty cars for $325 ship, that's kind of a gift compared to what they usually go for. Same thing with like Ultra Reds, Green Machines, things like that. So, like, for example, the Mini GT Give R32, I'll do it $55 shipped anywhere in the U.S., that's a gift. The car usually sells for 60 or 70 plus shipping. Same thing with the Land Rover, and it is sealed, 55 shipped anywhere in the States. So I got some very good deals, and I really can't negotiate a whole lot. So don't message me and try to lowball me. But as I said, some stuff I can negotiate on maybe a little bit, but not... Any of the stuff I quoted in this video, non-negotiable. So just keep that in mind. And the Hudson here, you know how rare that is. It's a pretty rare car. I'll do 105 shipped anywhere in the States. That's a gift for that car too. So just letting you know, throwing all these out here. Uh, so if you see something you like, message me. I appreciate you guys watching. I will be back again tomorrow with the video on the thank you to my viewers for some of the cars that they sent me or given me before I came back. So uh, very thankful for those and the video is long overdue. So we'll be getting to that tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys and please message if there's something you like. Thanks. Say bye Ethan.